what an experience. I don't wish it on my worst enemy. I'm lucky it didn't open up even more. We are switching gears now and following the story of a sinkhole that swallowed a car in Cooper City today. The driver actually thought that she was going to die. CBS 4's Carrie Cott spoke to her. He joins us live from where it happened. Carrie. Rick, just within the last 10 minutes or so, cleanup crews finished repairing a 12 inch water main break and filling in that sinkhole. You can see the area where this occurred, right where those orange cones are. Tonight, both the woman driving the car that went into that hole and her four year old grandson describe a terrifying ordeal. I just thought it was water, a puddle. And then all of a sudden, my car starts going, and you saw what it looked like. We saw what it looked like after Dolores Otero's mini SUV landed in a sinkhole at a McDonald's parking lot Thursday afternoon as she came to get some food for her four year old grandson, Angel. Otero said after her car got stuck, the front of the car started filling up with water. It filled part way up her leg, she said, and she feared the car might land on its side or worse. I was afraid it was going to open up more and I was going to be in there underneath ground. A little of us scared. And, 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 the, and we were stuck. Otero was most worried about her grandson. She said a pair of good Samaritans pulled her and Angel to safety from the passenger side of the vehicle. Angel had other concerns. I'm so worried about Alex. That's his toy lion. It appears Alex is okay. Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue says a 12 inch piece of a water main broke and all that water had to go somewhere, so it ate through the ground and the concrete and claimed Otero's car. She's grateful that no one was seriously hurt and is still trying to deal with the fright she felt. It was a scare, big scare. We're told that McDonald's should be able to open tomorrow morning. However, we're also told they'll probably have to boil their water for a few days. As for Dolores Otero, she told me she wants answers about how this happened and about why this area of the parking lot wasn't cordoned off before she drove into it. She also wants to know who's going to pay for her car or possibly for a replacement vehicle. Live in Cooper City, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News tonight.